Welcome to the Spirited Maker channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use the Bezier curves in Blender to create quick and easy models. Let's start by deleting the startup box and change to a top-down view by pressing 7 on the keyboard. Press Shift A and add a Bezier curve from the Curves menu. Let's grab it with G and move it to the center. Press Tab to go into Edit Mode. For each point on the curve, you can select and rotate it with R or grab and move it with G. You can change the handle type by pressing V. The main thing you will be doing is changing between free and aligned. Let's change this one to free. Now you can move each handle of the curve individually. You can add another point on the curve by pressing E to extrude out to a new point. It will keep the handle attributes of the previous point. Press V again and change it back to aligned. Let's make a familiar shape and then I will show you what is really amazing about Bezier curves. On an aside, you can also scale the points by pressing S to change the curve as well. To join the two ends of a curve, select the points you want to join and press F to fill the gap. Go back to object mode and grab the curve and move it to the center. On the Bezier curve menu on the side, change it to 2D and change the fill mode to both. Jump down to the geometry menu and tilt the view down a little on the view screen. In the geometry menu, grab the extrude command and drag it to the right to give the curve some depth. If you want to smooth its edges, go to the bevel menu and increase the depth until it looks good. One last cool thing you can do with the curve is going into edit mode and pressing 7 to go through the top down view. Press shift A to add a circle. Let's scale it down by pressing S. Now let's grab it with G and move it to the center of the object. It automatically cuts the hole in the object. You can duplicate it with Shift D, move it and make as many copies as you want. You can do the same thing as well with custom curves instead of circles. And there you have it. From simple curves to 3D models in a very rapid fashion using Bessier curves. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as always, God bless.